The ROM4 criteria for the diagnosis of I IBS has been presented only two weeks ago in San Diego during the DDW Congress. And now here in Bologna, we have the privilege to, to speak with Professor Jan Tech from the Leuven University in Belgium, who has uh, given this very important uh, presentation. Uh, Professor Tech, uh, you said that during the, the lecture here in Bologna that uh, there are, mm, in this uh, new ROM4 criteria, there are three um, differences, very important. The first one is uh, regarding pain. What has been changed during the ROM4 criteria regarding pain? Well, the previous uh, criteria, ROM3, said that IBS is pain or discomfort to start with. And um, in the meanwhile, in the 10 years since ROM3 was published, it has become clear that what is discomfort is very differently understood by individual patients. It refers to different types of symptoms. There is no language or word for discomfort in every language. So discomfort has been identified as a confusing concept. And so the decision was now for ROM4, IBS is now pain-centered. It is pain it is pain in the abdomen, um, no longer pain or discomfort, and it is associated with some changes in stool pattern. The elimination of discomfort actually decreases a little bit the percentage of subjects that have IBS. So the prevalence is slightly uh, smaller, but it's actually um, a more homogeneous and globally homogeneous concept. The second point you have uh, just mentioned is the stool pattern abnormalities. What has been changed? Well, in the past it was pain or discomfort associated with relief by a bowel movement, and now it is only pain, and the pain is now just associated with the bowel movement, so it can not only be relief, but also worsening. Indeed, clinical practice shows that some patients that we would call IBS say, no, it's not better after a bowel movement, it's actually a little bit worse. And we put these into the umbrella of IBS diagnosis. So relief by defecation has now become associated with defecation. And uh, the third point is the frequency criteria of uh, abdominal pain. Well, the previous definition, Rome 3, was a little bit complex was it because it said that uh, pain or discomfort had to be present at least three days per month. This is an unusual time frame, not so practical, and moreover it was based only on expert opinion. Now we have good epidemiology data um, providing a basis to put a threshold. And this is a convenient threshold. It shows that in the normal healthy population, um, abdominal pain more than once a week is really very, very rare. So that has become the threshold based on sound uh, epidemiology, population-based survey, and once per week at least, one day per week, is very easy to, memori to memorize. So it's both scientifically and practically an advance.